Welcome to the sixth tutorial on philosophy in Islam. In this one we will look at the cosmological argument, what it shows about Allah, and the challenges presented to the cosmological argument. The cosmological argument says that the universe had to have a first cause, and that cause is God. Nothing happens by chance, everything has a reason or a cause. When things happen it is because something or someone must have caused it to happen. A medieval Christian thinker, Thomas Aquinas, talked about the unmoved mover. He says that eventually there has to be something which is the unmoved mover or the first cause. He says this has to be God. Muslims also agree with this. Al-Ghazali was a Muslim thinker who was a part of the Kalam tradition, which looked to defend the truth of Islam using theological reasoning. There are four points to the Kalam version of the cosmological argument, whatever begins to exist must have a cause. The universe began to exist so it must have a cause. The cause of the universe must itself be uncaused. Allah is the uncaused cause. Allah is a necessary being. Without him the universe would not exist. The Quran it describes the ripping apart of the heavens and the earth which some Muslims say supports the Big Bang theory. They believe Allah created the universe through the Big Bang and that the creation story is symbolic of Allah being the first cause. Muslim thinker Ibn Sina agreed with Greek philosopher Aristotle's idea about the universe having always existed. But Al-Ghazali disagreed with him because this idea contradicted what it said in the Quran about Allah being the creator. The Quran shows Muslims that Allah alone is responsible for the creation of the universe which he made out of nothing without any pre-existing model or matter. Whatever Allah orders will come to be. Allah is the only eternal being. Many non-religious people, including atheists and humanists, do not agree with the cosmological argument. They say if everything has a cause, then what caused God? Also, if God is eternal, why can't the universe be eternal too? They also say that even if the universe did have a cause, there is nothing to prove that God is that cause. Muslims say the laws of cause and effect do not apply to Allah. They say that he is transcendent which means he is above and beyond the universe. He is omnipotent so he has the power to create the universe. He's imminent so communicates with people. In the exam, you might be asked to explain Muslim beliefs about the cosmological argument and argue for and against Allah being the first cause, using Muslim and non-religious viewpoints. Can you summarize what you have learnt in this tutorial? In summary, Muslims believe Allah was the first cause and the universe wouldn't exist without him. Al-Ghazali tried to prove Allah's existence by arguing only Allah is outside time and space. Atheists and humanists do not think Allah created the universe.